A Hamilton County judge ruled a man convicted of a 2014 triple homicide in Lookout Valley will not be granted a new trial. Derek Morris had been sentenced to three life sentences without the possibility of parole. Our Meredith Aldis joins us live now with more on this story. Meredith. David, attorney Christian Lemire put the defendant's best friend on the stand and claimed the evidence was new. Judge Barry Steelman didn't agree. Derek Morse was convicted of three counts of first degree murder for killing John Morris, John Lang and Caleb Boozer in 2014 in Lookout Valley. He's currently serving three life sentences without the possibility of parole. Today was a shot at possibly getting out. Attorney Christian Lanier filed a motion for a new trial. He argues there were several contradictions in witness testimony, contaminated evidence, and now he is a witness with new information. That witness is Morris's friend, Skylar Allen. He's serving 15 years in prison in connection to the homicides. On the stand, Allen claims Morse wasn't there during the shooting. He was at his house at the time. Uh, we were supposed to have picked him up, but he was in the process of like cleaning up and doing some stuff. Allen admits to lying to police before, but claims now he's telling the truth. You could have told them the truth that Derek was never with you, right? Yes, sir. That Derek had nothing to do with it, that he was never with you, right? Yes, sir. And you didn't do that? You're correct. You lied. Yes, sir. He says he didn't share this information before because he was scared of retaliation from others involved in the shooting. Hamilton County Executive Assistant District Attorney Cameron Williams says Allen's statements don't add up. Based upon the fact that the, the testimony from Ms. Mr. Allen is not uh, based in reality or uh, and is inconsistent with his prior testimony and he admits to lying, uh, I, I, I don't think the court can give him any credibility whatsoever. Judge Barry Steelman agreed, and he denied the defendant's request for a new trial. The court believes he would have told it before now, um, rather than allowing his lifelong friend to be convicted of uh, first-degree murder and receive a prison sentence of life without parole when he wasn't even at the scene and was at his home washing dishes. Judge Steelman says and now Morse can move on to appealing the jury's verdict in this case. Morse and Allen are being transported back to the Department of Corrections. Reporting live from the courthouse, Meredith Aldis, Local 3 News.